welcome to another edition of the Musical Heatwave. This week we speak to a promoter plus a key engineer. But first, one of the hottest songs around at the moment, and the lady is Queen Ifrika, soon to be here in UK. Hey. Me and my lover just always a fight, but him know where for do for make me smile get bright. We war on him left and no come back till late in the hours with a bunch of the nicest flowers. Even though me fake still me blood a boil. One look below the waist, I'm young like a child. Can't help it, me couldn't hide the feeling. Plus him a thrill me with the most sweet talking. You know me not gonna knock you down, baby. Now me just want to hold you down, baby. Him say go and go put on your tongue, baby. And before you know it is another baby, you know me now go box you down, baby. Now me just want to hold you down, baby. Him say go and go put on your thong, baby. And before you know it is another baby. The saddest thing about a quarrel is when everything no work out right. But if you got anything like me and for me babes, when even when me just done my listen for days and I stress and me I go left if him not change him tricky ways. We love for one another, make everyone amaze. The children believe in uh, everything he says we only go into a face so come tell me sorry soft in my ears you know me now go knock you down baby now me just want to hold you down baby him say go and go put on your thong baby and before you know it is another baby you know me now go knock you down baby now me just want to hold you down baby him say go and go put on your thong and before you know it is another baby so me now for running bed. No man can come in on me bed. So even if you always see me, I argue about most of the things when enough man no one do like feel help out with the kids, pay the bills and time. Then I see up me house when me just don't shine. Me can't search your phone, but you want to search mine. Now why when the whole of that combine? You know me now I'm gonna knock you down, baby. Now me just want to hold you down, baby. Him say go and go put on your thong, baby. And before you know it is another baby, you know me now go box you down, baby. Now me just want to hold you down, baby. Him say go and go put on your thong, baby. The fabulous Queen Africa and Below the Waist. Okay, are you ready? You ready? Good. Musical Heatway, coming at you. The music business has always been male dominated. Despite that, for the past 25 years, one female has held her own and has succeeded in promoting some of the finest reggae shows right here in the UK. From the heavy sounds of Jashaka to roots and culture of Johnny Clark. Most recently, Nikki Azir was a key player on the team that brought reggae to Newcastle when the Boss Sounds Festival rocked the city for two days. She's currently organizing nights at the Barbican for more giants of reggae. Musical Heatwave caught up with her and ask her a few questions, starting with what's the general reaction when people meet you for the first time? People are surprised that someone like me has a sort of passion mm. because that's what it is. And, I, and I've tried to stop working mm. the last <laughs> few years thinking I can't, I don't know if I can keep the pace up. And, yeah. and I have taken on some other projects, you sure. know, like venue management sure. that I do in London. But I can't stop because it's in my soul. And I think what I've tried to do going back 20 years yeah because I loved reggae music from a very young age, mm -hmm. was to make, basically create shows and events which were accessible to everybody. Indeed. And when we look at the work I've done with Josh Shaka, for example, yeah. we know yeah. that he used to play to far more sort of insular crowds. Indeed. And what we did at the Rocket was open out his work yeah. and let yeah. make everybody feel yeah. welcome. Yeah. And I do think with culture promotion shows, that's always been the aim, keep yeah. reggae music popular yeah. and make it accessible to everybody, yeah. all communities, all ages. And, and of course, not just in the UK, but taking it abroad as well, which you've done. Which you've done yeah, I suppose I, I, yeah. I work with lots of festival projects. Indeed. I've yeah. helped program Montreux Jazz Festival because yeah. they now have a reggae night. Yeah. And we do, yeah, we do reggae around the world. Yeah. So, so modest. <laughs> we do reggae around the world. And I take specific artists and projects yeah. and, and do the best we can, you know. Okay. That's so all we can do. Thank you, Nikki. And now an artist we haven't heard from in a long while, but he's back with a vengeance. A hot sound from Courtney, Bad Boy Melody. No, no. 
Okay, so what happens from here on in for culture promotion for Nikki? For me, I try and have a slightly more chilled life and not do so much, but I'll keep doing it. Yeah. And um, definitely working on Boss Sounds for next, for next year. Right. Uh, and we will do more publicity in other cities because yeah. I really hope we can do some sort of coach parties. Yeah. Sounds a bit old fashioned, but I think people yeah. need to get to Newcastle. Yeah and make it easy for them yeah, so we can I, double yeah, our audience. Absolutely, because I think, I think a lot of the media needs to, to know more about the, such as uh, festivals such as this. Yeah. yeah and definitely. apart from that, I'll carry on working with Horace Andy, Josh Shaka, Johnny Clark, and, you know, Brilliant. keep the music popular. Right. And is there a website we can get in touch with you? Culturepromotions.com. Say that again. Culturepromotions.com. All right, wonderful. Nikki, thanks a lot. Thank you. Great. This is the musical lead wave. Can you hear me? Now hear me. It is the musical lead wave. Listen to me. Hey, come on, people. Right on, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Get on board on this musical lead wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's for real, and you can feel. Lead wave, we're talking to uh, Errol Brown, um, one of Jamaica's finest uh, studio engineer. I mean, he's worked with. Uh, Anybody, any near you, any name you care to mention in the music business, from um, BB Seaton, you have uh, the Sensations, Bob Marley, Burning Spear, Glenn Brown. Um, who else? There's so many people. Uh, Culture, yeah. Dean Fraser. Um, the, the list, the list is endless. The list is endless, and um, the techniques. Um, 
so many names, so many names. Do you know, um, it's just a, a, a joy to actually be able to to talk to you and, and, and get your side of the story, you know, because we, we always hear in the artist's point of view and we never get to find out uh, the man who's be behind uh, some of our unsung heroes, which which you are one of them, because a lot of people don't know much about um, Errol Brown. You know, they'll see the name on, on probably some of the albums, you know, but what does Errol Brown do? What what your part um, you played in the whole um, foundation of Jamaican music? You know, um, history couldn't be written uh, and, and, and don't have Errol Brown's name in it. So you are introduced to Bob Marley by uh, Marcia Griffiths. Yeah. You um, ventured down to, to um, Tough Gong and um, you opened this, this uh, massive board which, which sort of blew your mind coming from your 16 track mixer yeah. as it were. I was scared man, 16 channel, not even track, 16 yeah. channel, 8 track, yeah. I was scared when I said, I never even know if I was gonna do the castle, but I don't know. And I just got brave and keep going and this engineer Alex Sadkin was there and I uh, check it out and I keep learning learn a lot more, you know, I'm every day learning, up to today learning. T tell me about how you, you brought the experience you had working at Treasure Isles with, with um, a smaller studio, you know, that the recording um, techniques probably a bit outdated, well, I say outdated, not as up-to-date as, as where you were at Tough Gong, and, and still manage to, to give us some of, some of the most um, brilliant sounds you ever want to hear in reggae music. Well, in those days, what I actually did, you know, I remember, um, no, we, it, we yeah. usually use three mics and the drums, okay. like kick, snare, and iot, you know? But yes, the snare mic would pick up the toms. And um, so what I did normally after musician gone, I just I just played over with my hand and take out the toms off the snare track, yeah. and yeah, and the drum roll and take out the rim separate and put on the next track. And so I get a create my song. So I, I learned the hard way because there was no nice guitar or anything like that. I just have to just play over the drum myself with my and 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 dump it on the next track while I'm playing it. So is that help every quality in those days? So, so you you were, you were lots of um, there was lots of experimenting going on. Yeah, well, I don't I, those days I never joked to experiment because you know it was in me you know because you usually, usually play sound system and know what I wanted to hear and all that so I'd go for it and my uncle usually liked to hear the rim because those days and he never usually hear the rim shutting it was like one drop always have a rim. The rim shot drop with the kick drum. Couldn't get it, but um, I just get it out and well, it worked. Uh, uh, of course, Errol, uh, while, while the, the, the style of, of music in Jamaica was changing, um, the technology was changing, and also um, the, the, the we had the change